that is here today. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing chef. You even catered my, catered my bridal shower. This is true. That's right. All these did. years ago, I've I've been such a huge fan of his for so long. He's a wonderful chef. Aww. So please welcome Thank to you. the Burnbury Farms Culinary Academy, Chef Matt Vasily. Thank you. Thank you wow. so much. Thank you That's all so of you. Awesome. It, is, it is so great to be sharing the stage with you today. What are we going to be making? Well, first off, I mean, the honor is all here uh, on this side. Like, all right? Like, very nice. I didn't bring my nice shirt. Like, this is tough. Uh, uh, well, you're doing the cooking. Right? I'm doing the eating. So, this uh, is my eating outfit. And uh, as you know, we just came out with a brunch cookbook. That's right. So, we're going to do a recipe yes. from the brunch cookbook. We're going to make cherry cheesecake pancakes. Because pancakes are fun. But then you realize, as an adult child that I am, they're also a great vessel for a lot of even more fun things. So, That's right. Yeah, right? We're going to sort of jazz up the regular pancake. And jazz up the regular pancake. Let me tell you, pancake. if there's anybody in the world that you want making brunch for you or teaching you how to make brunch, it is this guy here. He literally wrote the book on brunch. It's called Brunch Life. It's called right? Brunch Life. I have it. It's beautifully written, beautifully photographed, so you want to get one of those. And this one of the recipes. Okay, so let's Great. get started. So what's really cool about the way we, this comes from a chapter in the book called Pancakes, French Toast, and Waffles, Oh My. Right. But what we do is at the beginning of the chapter, we do your generic like OG pancake recipe. And then in the book, we have all the different recipes that you can then take that and tweak it a bit. So that's exactly what this is. This okay. is one of the tweaks. So we're taking your basic pancake and then adding on. Exactly. So okay. everyone's going to get started. And wow, this is great. They've really got you all set up. So we're going to start with the cherry uh, sauce first. Okay. So you're going to want to grab your container of cherries. I want to say a couple things before we get right into this. We have culinary assistants. Guys, throw up your hands if you're out there to help. Put them up. We have our wonderful culinary assistants out circulating amongst you. If you need help, just raise your hand. They will come and help you or I'll flag someone down. And also, you've got your wonderful aprons on from Burberry Farms. Those are yours to keep as well. And we're going to eat afterwards as well. That's the best. Okay. Cheers. And make as much mess as you want. This is supposed to be fun, right? Everything's going to be cleaned up. By Trevor. Trevor's going to clean it up. Right. Trevor's going to clean it up after. So you're you all have my permission. Right? The best kind of cool. Okay. So just to go through the sauce, you're going to need your cherries to start. There's going to be a little container of water. You're going to need that as well. There's two containers of sugar. One that has more than the other. You're going to need the one that has more sugar in it. It's white granulated sugar. There's going to be a small container of maple syrup. You're going to need that as well. And then a very small container of potato flour. Oh, Ooh. what does the potato flour do? So it's a thickening agent. Yeah, right. but I, I'm a big fan of cornstarch for thickening agents. But right. Kai uh, does a lot of work with dietitians and nutritionists, and she's like, no, use something better. So better than okay, potato flour. It is. Potato right. flour. It is. So you should so have. Chef we're turkey. good with all those. Yeah. yeah, we got all that. Maybe uh, put up a spatula if you got all those items. There we go. Okay. 